Yeah, I've always been very proud of Raheem um, over the course of many years, um, right from his young days when he was playing for us here at um, R. Kelvin Academy. Obviously, back then it was called Copeland Community School. But um, since then, he's achieved so much both with Manchester City and also with England. We've um, played in Europe for Manchester City, winning the league, how many times, winning the FA Cup, the League Cup, etc. And playing against some of the best teams throughout the whole of Europe. So for him now to be doing what he's doing for England um, around the corner from us here at R. Kelvin Academy at um, Wembley Stadium, I almost call it like his, his second home ground. So um, he used to pass the stadium on the way to school and then pass Wembley Stadium back on the way home from school every day. So for him to be playing at Wembley Stadium and scoring goals for England is almost like a dream come true for him. And I'm sure all of his family and friends will feel as proud of him as I do. When he was in year seven, like in the old days, that would have been the first year of secondary school, um, he helped us to get to two cup finals, one for year seven and one for year eight. So he played two cup finals within the space of a week. And we was unfortunate not to win the year seven one, which we should have won by the way the game went. But he made up for it. He scored a few goals in that game and made loads of chances, etc. But for the year eight one, although he was a year seven, he was still man of the match. He scored three goals, made the other goal and made loads of chances and played extremely well. In, in my opinion, he wasn't just going to be an ordinary professional. He was going to be one of the best players that many people have seen over the course of years. I knew that he'd have a long career and I knew that he would go on to play for one of the best teams in the country. And I knew that he would go on and play for England. I just wanted him to be given that chance to show what he could do. Thankfully, Raheem's been back to the school quite a few times. One day he was driving by and just by chance um, he stopped and he came out and had a chat with us, had a bit of banter, we had a bit of a laugh and um, he took a few selfies, etc. Another time he came back and um, he um, donated like 500 tickets for the FA Cup semi-final for all of our children at school as well as all of the staff and their families, etc. to go to and enjoy the experience of going to to Wembley Stadium and enjoying a football match, which was great of him. He didn't have to do that. He's been back as well, um, not last season because of all what we've been through, but the season before at the start, he played a friendly, I think it was, for England down at Southampton. And he came up afterwards and he was still wearing his England shirt. And he came in, he'd done an advert and he'd done some filming. And then he literally took the shirt off his back. And he signed it and he gave it to us. He said on there, like, to Ark Elvin Academy, my favourite school in the whole world. And he signed it. So we've got that framed on the wall. And um, we've got a Man City shirt framed on the wall, which he signed as well for us. It's amazing. I mean, so many people want to talk to me about the whole thing, like, day in, day out and all times of the day. And... Um, We've seen such a response because every single session we have now, um, for argument's sake, on a Monday, we'll have football for years sevens and eights. I mean, at times we've got 40, 50 and more people wanting to play football. Um, likewise, on a Tuesday, we might have year nines and year tens. And like we've got to split them into four teams. And sometimes the teams are 10 aside, 11 aside. So <laughs> it's like gone crazy. The enthusiasm and the pickup for has been absolutely amazing.